Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a collective Bath & Body Works haul. There were some really good sales recently so I picked up a few things. It's actually kind of a smaller haul than usual but a few things I got like a lot of. Um, you'll know whenever you see them but let's go ahead and get right into the haul. So I did pick up some wallflower fragrance refills during the, I think they were 325, 325 sale. So I picked up mostly um, fall scents. So the first one I got is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. It smells amazing. Um, they had all them out like tester version in stores. This one is Tahitian Vanilla Pumpkin, Tahitian Vanilla, wow, why did I say it like that? Pumpkin Spice and Homemade Marshmallow. I figured this would be a really good one to put in the kitchen. And then we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. You cannot go wrong with that one. And now they have like a scent description on it, now like warm and comforting for Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. And this one was also warm and comforting. Um, the scent notes on that are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. It just smells like maple syrup to me, honestly. Um, and then this one I got for the bathroom downstairs. It's honey crisp apple. And it goes, it's described as fruity and happy. The scent notes are golden honey crisp, apple blossom, and fresh sugar cane. So that one smelled really good. Another one for the kitchen is pumpkin snickerdoodle, warm and comforting. I just couldn't not get pumpkin snickerdoodle. It smelled so good. So notes are warm sugar cookies, ground cinnamon, fresh nutmeg, and sprinkled with sugar. It smells so good. And I think this will be a good one even for like going into winter as well, or really any time of year. I don't smell any pumpkin in this. It smells just like snickerdoodle. And the last one I got is sun drenched linen. This is fresh and relaxing. And this one I figured could go either in the bathroom downstairs or even in our garage. We have one in the garage. Um, scent notes are cool cotton, crisp apple, and soft musk. So that's the five um, wallflowers that I picked up. I also picked up one for Ryan in mahogany teakwood because that's his favorite scent. So that's all of the wallflowers I got. Now on to the pocket bags. I kind of went crazy. As you guys know, they had the dollar pocket bag sale, which is so amazing. I don't think they've ever done a dollar pocket bag sale before. Or maybe it has been a while, like maybe in 2019 or 2018, definitely before the pandemic, but they've not done a pocket back sale in a very long time unless you find them at like SAS 50% off, which is actually, um, yeah, it's less than a dollar if it's 50% off because they're 195 so it would be like 70, 73 dollars or something like that. But anyway, I mean 73 cents, what? <laughs> Anyways, so I picked up a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of pocket backs. So the first few I got are like actually fall scents. So the first one is um, Filling Awesome Strawberry Pound Cake. And I will add that we have just finished off all of our summer pocket backs. So I needed new ones anyways. Both me and my mom use these religiously. I put one in my car. I put one on my purse. I even bring one with me to work. So I go through maybe like one every two weeks or something. So... Strawberry Pound Cake is the first one. White Pumpkin, which I've never had in um, pocket back form, but I assume it's gonna be really good because I like that um, candle. And then I also got Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. This is the same like packaging style as the last one. So stinking cute, are you kidding me? I think they really upped the packaging on the pocket backs this year because they are so gorgeous. And then the last one that's also in that collection that I got is Blueberry Crumble, and I missed out on this one last year, so I definitely wanted to pick it up because I heard amazing things about it. So, mm, that smells really good. And then this is like the, I guess, real life photo version of some of the packaging styles. This is pumpkin Cupcake. This one's always a must. I have to pick it up and like pocket back in, and um, I think I have it in lotion, hand lotion form right now too. And then blackberries and basil, which I also have in the hand soap right now. It's just such a good, simple, fresh and fruity scent. So that's all the fall ones I got. Then I got two of the Halloween ones because those are the only ones they had in my store. So I got Vampire Blood. I have not gotten, um, what's the orange one? Wicked Apple, I mean not orange. The green one, Wicked Apple. Um, they didn't have that in my store, but they did have Ghoul Friend. So cute. And then they had the Christmas ones in my store. I was so shocked because I hadn't seen anything about them on Instagram, or maybe I just hadn't been on Instagram in a while. But I found them in my store. I'm so excited. So let me see if I can't discern 
which one or which packaging. Okay, so the first one I got was Twisted Peppermint. And the packaging is just absolutely gorgeous. I think Twisted Peppermint should always be in pink packaging. That is just the cutest thing ever. And this is a great scent for winter time. Seriously love it. And then same packaging style is Frosted Coconut Snowball. Not my favorite scent because um, it's coconut for the winter, which I don't usually like, but it's okay. I'm like more okay with coconut scents now than I used to be, so it's fine. Um, and then the next like kind of wave of packaging, this is winter candy apple with a sleigh on it. So cute. Oh, I love this. That's a good scent. Of course, it's a staple that comes out every year. And then vanilla be Noel, which is my favorite of the three staple, um, Christmas scents. So cute. It has a little, um, I guess it's maybe a man and woman snowman. I don't know, but, and then we have tis the season, which I just fell in love with this scent last year. There's two reindeer running across it. So cute. It's like a apple spice scent. Oh, so, oh, I just smelled that and that made me so excited for Christmas. Are you kidding me? Oh, you guys, this is bad. I can't be excited for Christmas when it's only September. Um, and then the last one that I picked up is ice cinnamon rolls. And it's so cute, it has two little gingerbread people on it. Oh my gosh, adorable. And I actually didn't smell if this one has orange in it. I don't think it does. So you know how the ice cinnamon roll hand soap from last year had orange in it? It was like orange cinnamon rolls. This one doesn't have any orange in it. This just smells like cinnamon roll. So if you're not one who likes orange scented things, then this is still just totally plain cinnamon rolls. So. Really cute too, by the way. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 pocket bags. But it's only $14, so I feel fine about that. But that's like my little mini haul. Really wasn't a lot, but they had some really good deals that I couldn't pass up on and stuff that I had to like replenish in my stash anyways. So, you know, that's the excuse, but. That's everything for today's video. Let me know down below if you've been participating in some of the hauls recently. I know there's been a lot of really good deals. I know they did a really great candle deal a while back. I know they are doing buy three, get three, get three free right now. So let me know down below if you picked up stuff during the recent sales. Um, I'm really curious to see what you guys got, but that is everything for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did like comment and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.